Childish dad misbehaves at Starbucks, but Radian. Hey, Catherine. What is it, Dave? Since it's National Coffee Day, can we please go to Starbucks to get some good food? Starbucks isn't necessary good for you, but I suppose we can go there anyways. And one more thing, if you act childish or misbehave at Starbucks, then you'll be grounded, so if they don't have what you want, pick something else off the menu, understood? Yes, Catherine, I understand. Okay, good, now let's all get in the car, just the two of us. Hello, and welcome to Starbucks, what can I all get you this afternoon? For me, I would like to get a tall double cappuccino please. And for me, I would like to get a pumpkin spice frappuccino please. I hate to say this sir, but we're all out of pumpkin spice frappuccinos and other pumpkin spice coffees. What? You have got to be kidding me, this is Starbucks, and you're trying to fool me that you're out of pumpkin spice frappuccinos? I wish I was, but I'm not. But the good news is, why don't you get a plain iced coffee latte instead? No. I don't want a plain iced coffee latte. I want the pumpkin spice frappuccino and that is final. Give them to me right now. Uh-oh. Dave, stop it. Right now, you can either have a plain iced coffee later at Starbucks, or get nothing at all and we will both go straight home. Your choice? I don't want a plain iced coffee latte, I want the pumpkin spice frappuccino and that is final, so get out of my way Catherine. I beg your pardon sir, but why did all of your pumpkin spices coffee flavors sold out? Well, I'm so sorry you feel that way sir, but the reason we're out of pumpkin spice flavors here at Starbucks today, is because our pumpkin spice flavors were so popular, that's why they are all sold out. Don't give me that excuse, give me the pumpkin spice frappuccino right now, or I will sue you in court. Sir, if you're gonna act this way at Starbucks, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you two to leave. Oh, so you're not giving me the pumpkin spice frappuccinos, then I would like to speak to your manager for bad customer services. Actually, I am the manager, so I'm gonna have to ask you two to leave. Alright, then let me speak to the owner then, you entitled Karen. No, since you're acting like a rude customer, I will have to call the police if you and your wife don't leave. Help, 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 someone please help me, this rude male Karen is giving me bad customer service and he's treating me poorly, help, help, help. Why? Sir, I'm not a rude male Karen, you're being childish and acting like an entitled Karen in public, this is getting ridiculous, you should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, how dare you call me childish and an entitled Karen, I'm not childish or an entitled Karen, I just have behavior issues, I will sue you in court for calling me that. Why? You know what, that's it, we are going straight home, and if you don't get up off the floor then I will carry you up myself. One, two, three. Hey! Put me down this instant, this is not fair, you entitled Karen, I want to speak to your manager, I need a lawyer right now. The only thing you're getting is trip to home, where you will be grounded for a week, and since you keep acting like a baby, I will treat you like one. Sir, I am deeply sorry about my husband, he tends to act like this when things don't go his way. It's alright, next time, when you come back to Starbucks, Keep him in control, or don't bring him here at all. Don't worry sir, I promise this will not happen again. I said that I want the pumpkin spice frappuccinos, but will happen next to be continued why? Man, what a weird family. Dave, I can't believe you misbehaved at Starbucks today, on National Coffee Day, that's it, you are grounded for a week, now go upstairs to your room, and don't even think about getting back on the Xbox, you're grounded. Why?